Working on everything from trucks to street rods and race cars, Robbie Capps learned to love cars and engines at an early age from his father's influence. To ramp up his engine experience, Robbie started working at a local machine shop during high school, and he went on to work for Cox Race Engines for a dozen years and opened his own shop in 2008. Unfortunately, when the economy crashed, Robbie's new engine shop couldn't make do. So he left Tennessee and came back to his hometown of Asheboro, North Carolina, and started fresh with Caps Performance Engineering just a couple years ago. At his new shop, Robbie builds high-end streetcar and drag race engines. He's done everything from Hondas to Fords to LS engines. And recently, Caps Performance Engineering restored a 1973 Z28 Camaro and built a 383 CID small block Chevy engine for it. We'll give you all the details of that build in this episode of Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrave. Precision, performance, Pengrave. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original. Leading technology, leading service. And SCAT Crankshafts. Everything for your LS engine. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about the details of a 383 CID small block Chevy build done by Caps Performance Engineering in Asheboro, North Carolina for a 1973 Z28 Camaro restoration. The customer is actually one of Robbie's high school friends, and he's had this car since he was 16 years old. Here's Robbie to tell you a little more. He bought the car when he was 16 years old. It's a 73 Z28. It's an all original. It was an all original Z28. But I took all the performance parts of the car, like the engine, the transmission, the rear end, and upgraded it to the most modern thing I possibly could without taking away from the originality of Z28. It's a super, super, super nice car. It's really turned out well. But I did a 383 for it, and it turned out really, really, really nice. It's, it's what I would call a high end 383. It's got about $15,000. To begin the 383 Chevy build, Robbie used a stock two-bolt block because the main webbing offers a better foundation. However, the two-bolt main caps are a weak point, so he put in billet-splayed four-bolt caps. From there, it got line-honed and bored using torque plates. And I had it line honed, you know, board honed with torque plates. And I had the lifters aligned. I had the cams on them done. I put the CH8 Durabon cam bearings in it with the two inch all the way through. A lot and all that stuff up really made a big difference as far as free the power. The 383 Chevy engine also features Brodix heads, a scat rotating assembly, Wiseco pistons, gas ported rings from Total Seal, a street manifold, and a quick fuel carburetor. But I didn't spare any as far as silver head camshaft back. It's got a really trick camshaft in it. It's got the dual pattern. I've never seen nobody put a dual pattern cam on a dual plane intake. And it really, really made that engine, as far as the dialing numbers and stuff, it really made that engine great. As far as valve training and stuff, I, re- I used uh, the manly intake, red exhaust, uh, PSI, uh, high under springs. Uh, I used exodines, titanium retainers, and titanium locks. I used a Rollmaster, uh, Bill Time and Set with a Torrington. Um, I used a real trick, uh, Champ Pan. It's got a, it looks, Original stock on the outside, but it's got all the trap doors and, and the windage tray and stuff on the inside. For final touches on the 383 build, Caps went with an E3 ignition system, which included a billet distributor and spark plugs, as well as pen grade one for oil. On the dyno using smaller headers, the small block Chevy produced 565 horsepower and 570 foot pounds of torque, which is pretty stout for 383 cubes. The engine recently got installed in the Z28, and Caps Performance Engineering has another satisfied customer. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks to our sponsors, Scat Crankshafts, Pengrade Motor Oil, and L-Ring DOS Original. And remember, if you have an engine you'd like to feature, please email me at gjones at babcox.com.
See you all next time.